We're featuring different menorahs every day from Israeli artists. We have one here by artist Marit Meisler. It's part of a project by the Israeli Electricity Company in the Tel Aviv municipality. Very simple, but very cool. Look at this. Really nice. This is the last night. Oh, I want more. All right. Meanwhile, Hanukkah, the story of a revolt by the Maccabees against the mean Greeks who had turned the ancient Jewish temple into a pantheon for idol worship. Our reporter, Yuri Shapira of Holy Land Uncovered, has more on the Maccabee revolt and where it all began. It was the first and probably one of the last rebellions in history when the Jews defeated an empire in the Holy Land. A story of courage, ambitions, and a lot of Jewish chutzpah. This is the story of the Maccabee Revolt of the second century BCE. The background starts with Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great conquered a large part of the known world at that time, but he dies at a young age, and he doesn't leave someone to follow him in his footsteps, a ruler. So his successors fight for control. And in this area, in the beginning, it's the Ptolemaic uh, Empire. Uh, and then there's a huge battle up north in the area of the Banyas, where the Seleucid Empire captures this region from the Ptolemaic Empire. And this land falls under the Seleucid Empire's control. That's when we're talking about decrees against the Jews and all kinds of things that will lead up to the Maccabean Revolt. The city of Modin in central Israel was the headquarters of the Maccabees during their long revolt. Modin was the hometown of the Maccabees. Uh, that's where the Hasmonean family uh, lived. That's where the whole revolt against the Hellenistic Empire broke out in the town of Modin. We are now in the geographical area of Modin. Uh, behind us, behind this hill, is the modern city of Modin today. We're on the outskirts of the modern city of Modin. And when the city was supposed to expand in this area, they had excavations here and they discovered something amazing. A Jewish village from the times of the Maccabees. And in this Jewish village, they found a number of things. They found a main street and a number of other streets going out with homes and water pits and wine presses. And even the most amazing thing that they found here was the synagogue, a synagogue, one of the most ancient synagogues known today in the world from the times of the Hasmoneans. So it could be that the Maccabees even came here and sat in this very synagogue, maybe prayed or learned or spoke to each other here in this synagogue. One of the more famous battles occurred at a place called Emmaus, also sacred for Christians. The book of Maccabees mentions the Jewish hero Judah the Maccabee, who wisely managed to defeat the forces of heroic figure Georges, who came with 40,000 troops and 7,000 horses. The book of Maccabees tells us the story of this glorious revolt and portrays some of the most iconic figures in the history of the Jewish people. One of them is Matathias, a man who insisted on fighting for his faith. The eighth and final battle between the Maccabees and the Seleucid forces took place at 160 BCE at Elassa. It saw the death of Maccabees leader Judah, but also the inevitable victory of the Maccabees. Where are the Maccabees buried? This question remained open until today. One possible location is here, near the city of Modin. After the successful Maccabee revolt, the Asmonean dynasty ruled the country for 80 years. It was the last Jewish-controlled regime in the region until the creation of the State of Israel in the 20th century.